What did I even used to say? <laughs> oh, wait, I got it, I got it, I got it. All right, here we go, here we go. YouTube, hello, welcome back to Final Fantasy 16 because we're back. They dra Shadow dropped the DLC during the Game Awards, so we're back, we're gonna play it through, we're gonna have some fun. Uh, no idea how long this is gonna take. It's probably gonna be a couple of hours from based on what I've seen on like how long to beat and stuff. So we're gonna try to sit down and just beat it in one sitting. Um, if it's any longer, then this might be on multiple episodes, but hopefully we'll be able to get it uh, taken care of. If you haven't already watched the rest of the series, make sure you check out the playlist at the end of the stream, or end of the stream, end of the video. <laughs> and uh, yeah, if you wanna come check us out live, all the details about the Twitch stream are down below. We stream on Saturdays, Sundays, and Mondays here on Twitch, and Fridays here on YouTube. I appreciate y'all being here, YouTube. We'll see you in a bit. All right, I'm excited. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Probably sit back down. Dude, it's hotter than hell in here. If you see me getting up and down a whole bunch, it's just to avoid, like, the heat setting in. I gotta keep moving periodically to, like... <laughs> get the air beneath my wings, you feel me? Get too sedentary, all of a sudden things just start to... Oh! That was easy. Thank you for purchasing Echoes of the Fallen. Your new content is already installed. Oh, I've got to move my bitch ass face. Get out of there. There we go. To access the Echoes of the Fallen quest line, you must have first unlocked Origin on the world map as well as completed the side quest where there's a will and priceless. Good thing we completed all the will or side quests. Bonus items will now be available for redemption from the system tab in the main menu, Pog. All right, so let's load. Uh, does this just go, this just goes before the thing, right? You can now change the outward appearance of Clive and his allies to access the hideaway side art stone. Dope. New quest line necklace of the following is now available by speaking with Karen at her stall in the hideaway. Dope. It should? Okay. Right on. Okay. So first things first. Go to our system tab. Um, aha! The onion sword. Take up this radiant blade of gold and turquoise in one's hands. Taking up, sorry. Taking up this radiant blade of gold and turquoise in one's hands invokes strange yet familiar images of four homes, homespun youths on a journey to quench the up or the coming darkness. Does that say Buster Sword? Wow. <laughs> Taking up this cold, unassuming steel in one's hands invokes strange yet familiar images of friendship and rivalry, love and loss, while the notches along its blade speak of hardship immeasurable. That is a great description, yeah. They're both very good. And then we got an away orchestrian roll. Nope. So, if memory serves me, I believe... Can't we change the appearance of our weapon without actually changing the weapon? I think there's a way to do that. Yeah, we'll listen to the roll. I'm pretty sure there's a way to do that, isn't there? I don't remember where, though. It's got to be the Arette Stone. Whoop. Let's take a peek. Whoop. Appearance. Use the Appearance option in the Arette Stone to change the outward appearance of Clive or his party members. The appearance of Clive's weapon can also be changed to that of any previously obtained weapon while maintaining the current weapon's stats. Dope. Are the options? Burnt black. Oh, I like that. Nope. Jill. Snow white. I like that too. Not bad. I think his is probably like, it's still a good look, right? It's still a good look, but I think his is probably the less like, Im the least impressive overall. Torgal. Very fun. Icy blue. Love to see it. Ambrosia. Rosarian gold. That's cool too. Wow. Nice. Good for them. Okay. So, can I change it to... Oh, the bust the onion sword looks cool. I can, oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, 
Oh boy. We gotta do it for content, right? Like, it's got materia, yeah. We gotta do it for content, right? <laughs> we'll do the onion sword for a bit too, but let's listen to the equestrian roll, equestrian roll really quick. And that would be, oh wait. Very quiet. Hold on. Dope. I like it. What you want? Can you reinforce? No. <laughs> I was like, can I reinforce my new fun weapons? No. They're just they're bad. It's fine. Yeah, it's not bad. It's pretty good. Clive. Caron. Do I need a potions, Caron? Go on, then. I I am. Uh, I do actually. You're rubbing me blind, you know. You'll not find a better price than that. Is that all? No, it's not all. Fine, Sheesh. It's a dangerous world out there. All right. Stock up, what? There's something the matter, Karen. You seem perturbed. Do I know? How clever of you to notice. But yes, Thank you. so much come to my attention. And I'll be damned if I know what to make of it. Oh, real quick. I didn't look anything up. I have no idea what this DLC is even about. So. Go on. It's probably quicker if I just show you. Here. Some sort of crystal. I agree. I don't remember that was how we experienced before. everything with this game, so I figured we might as well, oh, well stick to the uh, stick to the script. Two of us. In all my long years of trading, both over and under the counter, I've never seen anything quite like it. They call in them dusk crystals, on account of color. Mm hmm I see. And they can be used to cast magics. That they can. Just like their brighter, shinier cousins. Interesting. Differences. They don't last as long. After a couple of goes light in your pie, they crumble away to nothing. That's how I heard about them. From crystal traders moaning that someone's been flooding the market with dodgy goods. Hmm. And after asking the right people the right questions and paying the right price, of course. I managed to get my hands on a sample. Hmm. I see why you're perturbed. Controller's vibrating. I hope. Do you feel that, Clive? Yes. Everything's purple. Meanwhile, all right, lads, that'll do for today. I said that'll do for today. Yes, Chief. Yes, Chief. Let's get this lot back to town, fill our purses, and then our bellies. What did you two do now? Oh, 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 oh. Please tell us you bought another landing. 
Stay calm, both of you. Who needs a lantern when you've got one of these? for a single spark. Well, there'll be no more sampling the merchandise today. Mm. That sounded close, Chief. Really close. Really, really close. Now, lads, what am I always telling you? Good things come to those... Who run? <laughs> Wait for us, Okay. Goes with the fallen, dude. The name of the enemies of the fallen. I forgot. I forgot everything about this game until just now. I should have watched the VODs back. <laughs> I've never felt a tremor this far in land before. Me neither. Hmm. But then I'd never seen skies like these till a few moons ago, and it's been all change ever since. True. Come to think of it, the first anyone ever heard of these dust crystals was after you lot came back from the Dominion and brought this bloody weather with you. Whoops. Do you think the two things are connected? Oh, knows? shit. Could just be that with Drake's tail gone, the black market was running short of the good stuff. The Dominion's mines were the only source of new shards left in storm after a certain evil outlaw decided to do away with the other mothers. Don't know who that and is. With the price of decent crystals going through the roof, traders turned to dealing in stuff they'd never have touched before. The question is, who's selling these crystals and where are they? Wait. This color. They couldn't be from... Origin, could they? No, that wouldn't make sense. I saw it form in the sky, and that was long after we returned from the Dominion. But if oh. they didn't come from Origin or any of the other Mother Crystals, then... Does that mean... That you missed one? Aye. That were my thinking, any road. Another Mother Crystal we didn't Ooh. know about. True. <laughs> if you're right about this, we need to find it. And quick, I'd say. On account of which, I'll take this shard over to Tomes for you. Thanks, Get Karen. To give it a once over, guess it rings any bells. Right. Thank you. Nope. And I expect you'll be wanting Jill's help with this too. True. Right again, I will. Let me go and find Joshua, and we'll meet you in the shelves. That was a new quest. Uh, that sounded super familiar. A crystal darkly. Brave the dusk. Nope. Quest destination tracks with the following are indicated with a purple marker. After accepting the quest, current objectives are displayed on the in the to-do list on the right hand side of the screen. These will be these will temporarily replace main scenario objectives. Oh. If you wish to restore main scenario objectives in the to, to the to-do list, you can do so on the journal tab in the main menu. Dope. You don't like icon? Why not? I don't have an issue with it. Bing. Nothing crazy here, right? Okay. March on. Oh, Joshua! Joshua, we need to talk. Karen's caught wind of something that I don't think we can afford to ignore. It's going to take me a while to remember the buttons and stuff, too. My, that is troubling. Not least because the undying... Yeah, I suppose. I don't mind Icon, crystals though. ...in any of their recent reports. 
So they weren't aware of them either? Perhaps. Or perhaps they merely deemed them unworthy of my attention. Wrongly, I might add, for I am inclined to share Lady Karen's misgivings. <laughs> then we'd better take her advice and consult Hippocrates forthwith. Onwards! Then. With our combined insight, I'm sure we'll discern something of use, be it no more than a place to start. Let's hope so. <laughs> there you are. I've taken the liberty of telling these two everything I told you. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. It's hard to believe such a lusterless shard could conjure much of anything. Try it. And you truly think this came from a mother crystal? One we never knew existed? Every other shard in the twins did. Why should these dusk crystals be any different? Dim though they may be. We know they first appeared on the black market shortly after Ultima Cast primogenesis, darkening the skies. So might the two be connected? Could the spell have created a new mother crystal, perhaps? A replacement for the ones we destroyed? There, now that makes some more sense. I think there may well be a connection. Yet, if we are to believe that the original mother crystals were of Ultima's making, does it seem likely that he would have need of anything so palpably inferior? Well, there goes that no. plan. I hazard that it was not Ultima who created these crystals, but humanity. More specifically, our fallen forebears, whose wonders litter the land even now. Oh, that would also make sense. The fallen challenged the gods in order to win their power and came tantalizingly close to doing so. It seems only reasonable that they should wish to learn the secrets of the crystals which the gods bestowed upon them. And then try to recreate so their, own. their own. Mm -hmm. Okay, Precisely. I'm with it now. You may have called the tale of the sins of Zemeckis begins with the colloquy of the sages. A council wherein humanity sought to uncover the last secrets of the gods before waging their war to learn what little remained. It is perfectly possible that an understanding of how to craft crystals was among their many achievements. Among their many achievements prior to their fall. <laughs> Indeed. The same enlightened souls forged great and terrible weapons called the Iconoclasts, from which icons derive their name, and turned them against each other in the Magitek War. A pointless conflict which served only to make its victors more confident of their right to supplant the gods on high. Hmm. And when at last they ventured to do so, the resultant imbalance in the ether is said to have been so great that the skies themselves turned black and began to boil. The first recorded RK sky, I suspect. Which brings us back to the matter at hand. It is my belief that these shards are the product of a long slumbering Magitek mother crystal, stirred to life by a similar etheric upheaval to the one which accompanied its creator's fall. There's only one way to know for sure. You know what, real quick? I wonder. Yeah! Active Time Echoes. Entries for the Echoes of the Fall will now appear in the Active Time Lore. If you don't recognize the term or wish to know more about the events currently unfolding, you can press the button. Pog! Dust Crystals. Shadowy shards that can be used to cast magics just like any other crystal, but are far less resilient, cracking after only a few uses. They appeared on the black market soon after the skies darkened, and it was from here that Karen obtained her sample. Update about the Fallen. An ancient yet highly advanced civilization whose relics, said to be remains of airships that once soared the skies, can be found across the length and breadth of Valisteo. Sid's hideaway is but one of many settlements to take a fallen ruin as its foundation, taking advantage of the sturdiness of the ceramics which are stronger than steel. They are not, however, immune to the passage of time, and so the hideaway is in need of constant repairs. Origin. I almost forgot about it too, Larry. <laughs> A vast structure that lay dormant beneath the crystalline dominion for countless centuries. When Ultima's scheme reached its final stages, it was summoned from the depths, sowing untold destruction and leaving bleak black skies in its wake. It eerily resembles a mother crystal. And then the mother crystals we already know. Okay. We track down whoever's selling them and find their source. Karen, where did you buy this one? 
Downing Port is older when I was scratching around for supplies. Ooh, Port Since older. the Imperials Down. buggered off and took the tariffs with him, you can find all sorts of interesting stuff on the docks. Go and have a chat with the mercenaries guarding the gates. Mm -hmm. Your uncle's got some good lads there. You know when to keep a watchful eye and when to turn a blind one. Oh, and take the crystal with you. Might be your key to the underworld. Thank you. I will. Ah, let's Shall do it. Then, brother. I'm coming too. If there is another mother crystal out there and it's anything like the others, you'll need all the help you can get. Bro! I was hoping you'd say that. One more time then. Together. Dope. Well, if anything, I am excited to just explore a new area with the uh, with the pals. Make for polar's old. Eh? We can do that. Let's go to the world map. Oh, me too, Larry. Live walking around with a Buster Sword is weird. Slow down. Not bloody likely. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> They're also not wearing armor. Don't take it What's personally. What's going on here, I wonder? What indeed? Let's ask. Good starting point. You know, asking. Oh. <laughs> All right. Damn. I guess I'll save. I guess so. Bruises. Excuse me. Who were those men just now? <sighs> Bloody troublemakers, that's who. As soon as I asked them to present their packs for inspection, they turned white as a sheet and legged it. I chased them all the way from the gates, but they're swift as hares. Still, at least we kept the bastards out. Don't need their kind stirring up any more strife. And what manner of strife have they been stirring up exactly? <laughs> Are you joking? This business with the crystals? Sorry, we've been away for a while. What's been going on? All right, I'll humor you. After the paltry rations the Imperials left Thanks. behind dried up, folks started trading crystals out in the open. We turned a blind eye at first. Lord Byron's orders. Well, he saw it and went right to deny people the one thing they were all clamoring for. Till the dust started turning up, that is. Dusk crystals, they're called. Ill-favored shards that crack as soon as you look at them. Not that the folk who bought them by the bucket load knew that. And they were baying for blood when they found out. Mm. In the end, his lordship had to step in and ban the blasted things. And we've been searching the pack of every trader who's darkened our gates ever since. I see. And you think the men you were pursuing might have been trading in these dusk crystals? Why, you're in the market for some. Anyway, I wouldn't rule it out. In fact, I put a few gill on it. We might still be able to catch them. We might. If you are heading up that way, you want to keep your sword, Andy. It's more than dodgy traders plying the roads. It's okay, days. I've got a big sword. Understood. We'll be careful. I could use a warm up anyway, to be honest with you. <clears throat> if those men were selling dusk crystals, I think it's unlikely that they will risk returning to Port Isolde. Which means this might be our only chance of catching them. Sick. Starting to remember already. Yeah. 
There we go. Sick. Oh! No, right, clip clop, clip clop, clip clop. I could get on the chocobo and, and go faster, but it's good Where to. Are they? Still some distance ahead, I'd wager. Good to get They're some practice in. All right, Joshua, damn. A little dramatic. I wager that's them. <laughs> Fire! Still no sign of those traders, though. No. I just hope we haven't lost them. These blimmin' tremors are scaring off all our customers. <laughs> the few that weren't scared off by the skies, you mean? Yeah, well. Uh, perhaps one of those merchants has seen something. Forgive me. But did you happen to see three men in robes pass this way? Yeah, I seen them. <laughs> Poor bastards. What do you mean? A gang of nasty looking brutes was on their trail. Uh oh. Caught up with them just up the road. Screaming at them they were. Your crystals are your lives and all that. Only the daft buggers kept their crystals and legged it. In which direction, out of interest? Up that way. Okay, thank you, bye. No, we're going to stare longingly into the distance. I'm sure they're fine. Towards the old hill docks. If it's help they seek there, they won't find any. But perhaps they might find a place to hide. Let's hope so. And then we can find them before their pursuers do. Mm. Thank you. And please, take care on the road. Come on. They're no good to us dead. True. Lead the way, brother. Turn the whole place upside down. Uh oh. You have to area somewhere. So the bandits haven't found them either. There's still time. I know you're saying that, but like... What's up, Rossfield? How you doing? Welcome on in. Oh, I find him. Doing pretty well, thanks. Thanks. Appreciate it. Go on, finger. Can go on. Chief, made it. 
I'll reach uh, this should be far enough. Nope. I did. Yep, I just started it. Uh, Chief? The I'm excited. Uh, it's getting so a man can't even catch his fucking breath. Gentlemen, a word. We understand you've been selling some crisps. And like I told you, thieving mates, you're not fucking getting them. <laughs> so you could take your massive sword and shove it. I'm sure I could, but we're not thieves. Over here, I can smell the one who shat himself. Uh-oh. Um, if you've got a plan, Chief, tell us you've got a plan. Of course, I've got a bloody plan. Good thing. Yeah, leave my buster that. sword alone. Let's start again, shall we? You say you're interested in the crystal trade? Not exactly. In actual fact, we were hoping to talk about this. Is that all? Well, then I know just how to help. If you're after the short shifter, he's over here! Are you mad? <laughs> Uh-oh. Who could have seen that coming? Slippery little pricks. Clinkers on the ground, quick as you like. Gentlemen, you've got it all wrong. Do we look like That's true. He's the one you want. Just look at what he's got in his hand. What? Him? Wait, I'm not. No, <laughs> uh, if you need any more help. What a cock. <laughs> they won't get far, Clive. No. But they'll wish they had. Thanks for the follow, appreciate it. Kind of you to think of him. Oh hi. I just assumed that was gonna be all of them. Who's he? The hell? Huh. Damn, 2,000 experience is no joke. Nope. <laughs> Did you see which way they sword, dude. North. Make it <sighs> three reads at a guess. Do, do. After them. If they reach the swamps, we'll never pick up their trail. It's true. There was something odd about those three. They seemed less like merchants and more like... Charlatans? One might argue that a merchant is naught but a mama without his motley. Then why am I not amused? <laughs> oh. That's a big bitch. What up, homie? Still got it. <laughs> Still got it. All right, yeah. 
Camera froze. Pawn. Man, stop that. Yeesh. Alright, let's get the camera fixed real quick. I suppose that's better than what we had earlier, right? <laughs> it's better than we had earlier. There we go. There we go. All right, let's keep her moving. Keep her moving. Uh oh. What did you find, boy? Clive, the term homeowner is very special. In what way? Ground, a lot more past this way than our three charlatans. Another group of bandits. Home oh, owner. I doubt they'd leave this crystal behind. Funny. Regardless, we're on the right track. <laughs> Let's pick up the pace. I do feel a little weak right now. Maybe it's because I'm not like using my abilities as much. Stopping at Martha's rest today. So they hope to pass unnoticed. Oop, boop. Still do swamps. Yeah, we're a bit leveled for this area. Oh, it's gonna be over here. All right. Oh, right, it'd be down in this area probably, huh? Around this way, yeah. Quiet. Yeah, there they are. Hi, fellas. Did you? Persistent bastards, I'll give them that. Friends, I knew those louts were no match for you. Mm hmm. But of course you did. Because you know what we're capable of, don't you? Now, you deal in crystal, dusk crystal. True. And we want to know where you got it. So you're going to tell us. Let's assume for a moment that we are the merchants you're looking for. Okay. I'm Why doing it. we tell you where we procure our stock? What kind of shepherd leads a wolf straight to you? Oh. 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 And they're getting worse. Clive, the tower. Well, that's new. <laughs> Possible. <laughs> yeah, Chief. Do you think someone else got into the tower? Quiet, you daft sort. And what would they find there if they did? I I wouldn't know. I've never been there. Echoes, maybe? Or fallen rubbish? I really couldn't say. The entrance is sealed tight. No way in. And how would you know that? If you've never been there? I uh Whoops a doodle. You done goofed. Look! Behind you! An Akashic monster! 
If you think I'm going to fall for another one of your cheap tricks... Clyde, trouble. What? Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, all right, fine. Don't you dare, all oh, you bitches. Wait, don't you dare. <laughs> well, let them run then. I have an idea where they'll be heading anyway. I kind of do too. Oh, 47. Alright, here, let's just take the ads out right now. What? <laughs> just a little bit. No! Stop it! Woof! <laughs> Tell him, Torgal. Yep. Well, that was ill-timed. True. But at least we know what was chasing the merchants. <sighs> That's twice we've saved them now. That's true. They owe us. Although we do know where to go now, so... Eerily lit up tower. I I don't see anyone. You sound thirsty. I've had enough of bandits and beasts, Chief. Can't we just go home? No. And let those thieving pricks march in and take what's ours? What's ours? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you don't mean the Dusk Crystal's eye. Halleck? Malik? We're going back to that tower if it's the last thing we do. But the lights, Chief. What about the lights? Ah. Uh, first you whine about it being too dark, then you whine about it being too light. Think about how easy it'll be to mine now. Dummies. Could have just left. Nope, sure isn't. And you're sure they're bound for the tower? <sighs> when they aren't running away from trouble, they're running towards it. True. Do you know anything of the place, Joshua? Alas, not. I have seen it labeled Sage Spire on some maps, but beyond that, the ruins are no different from any other fallen derelict. Another impenetrable relic of the past. Not so impenetrable, apparently. Our friends plainly found a way in. True. They could be living there, like we do in the Invincible. Well, Ooh. the tower is unquestionably large enough to hide three merchants. 
But is it large enough to hide what we seek? A mother crystal. It would go some way to explain why the area was among the first in Rosaria to fall to the Blight. Then it's settled. Yeah, that makes sense. I didn't even think about that. Approach from the dim. Do we have to walk? Oh! It's that fucking area, isn't it? The one I kept trying to get in. Dude. No, oh, it's probably nothing. We had no idea what it <laughs> Shouldn't we at least have warned him? Are we not going to be able to use magic? Huh. It would. Are those goblins? What are they doing in the Deadlands? I'm having deja vu. <laughs> I don't recall ever hearing of goblins using fallen relics as weapons. Well, they certainly are welcoming gifts. Hmm. Clive, remember where we are. No magic. Right. They're even uglier up close. No match for the Buster Sword. <laughs> okay. Let's hope that was the last of them. It'll never be the last of them. Indeed. I'd almost forgotten what it was like to have to rely on steel alone. Clive? Chill. You may want to see this. Uh-oh. What's the matter, Joshua? Is it a now open door after all this time? Dang it. Right. <laughs> How many times did I come back here in my playthrough? Like five? Someone Six? Was three. three guesses as to who. Then this must be their way into the tower. There's only one way to find out. <laughs> My goodness. I wonder I do wonder if this entire section is gonna be blighted though. The only way is up. We entered the spire. Uh, I guess we're gonna find out. No reason to, no reason to dilly dally. Yeah, for real. It's good to know that they had it planned, or at least had a plan for it.
It seems somebody's woken this place up. The question is... Who? Well, I can tell you who it wasn't. Unauthorized biometrics detected. Someone's here. Initializing security scan. Safety protocols disengaged. Uh oh. I don't think that was someone, Clive. I think it was the tower. Either way, it doesn't sound like we're welcome. Keep your guard up. Why would why would that go off for us but not for the other guys? Good news, we can use magic. So there's, well, and they just said it, right? There's ether here. Yeah, it's very good. That bitch in half. Nice. No map, huh? What if I want to go that way first? Oh, shit. Well, well, you know, hopefully there was nothing over there. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be a point of no return. Shit. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh. Escapement bit. I didn't think we were going to get new gear. Escapement bit. An accessory. Reduces ability cooldown time and reduces. Reduces? What the fuck? How did I get that out of restores? Reduces ability cooldown time and restores a small amount of the HP regain gauge following your precision dodge. Effect potency is directly affected by the strength of the attack dodged. Fun. I kind of like that. That'd be one of these, right? Is that just better? I guess it doesn't increase the attack proficiency. It just increases your HP regain and reduces ability cooldown time. I feel like reducing ability cooldown time's better, right? Hearth Flame. Some opponents will cast the spell Hearthflame to summon a magic sphere that protects a nearby ally by dealing damage to any who come in contact with it. Enemies accompanied by a Hearthflame can be identified with the bloop icon above their heads. The sphere can be dispelled by attacking it, but be warned. Melee strikes to the sphere will deal Clive damage, so ranged spells are recommended. Finished. 
easy enough. that attack heals. Let's go through the not closed. Oh, this isn't a door. Okay, well. That makes me think that we didn't miss anything. This feels a little, uh, this should be a little bit more linear than I thought. Jesus. Dusk crystals everywhere. Well, that's one mystery solves. But there's no mother crystal. Yet. We still have plenty of tower to explore. Off we go. Nice. <clears throat> we'll take a free heal. Oh, hello. I know that voice. Come on. Ah, uh, before we go in there, hold on. Let's check around a little bit first. Doo, 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 doo. This is a neat looking stone. Look how neat this stone is. Hmm. Can't light the stone. Can't dark the stone. Can't stone the stone. All right, I guess now we'll go check on them. I'm sure they're still fine. That's a big bitch. Good 
starting to seem like it. Ow! <clears throat> Whoopsie. Run? 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 Make with the running? Hey! Over here. <laughs> Take your friend to get out of this place. Now. Let's go, you big bitch. Sit around and learn its uh, patterns real quick first. That's pretty easy to dodge. Hmm. Gotta be faster with that one. Switch to the other thing again because this uh, this precision dodge item that I have on right now doesn't feel very good.
Jesus Christ. you could carry in this game. Good lord, what a fight. My goodness. <clears throat> Leveled up. Living tissue and fallen enforcer, it's a new weapon. Shadowy details of its make and provenance aside, attempting to explain why a blade so apparently blunt might be able to slice through hardened steel like a brand th through butter, would be like trying to explain why birds can fly or the sky is blue. An endeavor less bet left for bards and book rights. For real, great security system. Imagine that's only phase one, it just gets back up. My goodness. Security Sentinel 503, offline. Initiating emergency call relocation protocol. Right, yeah, only 502 left to go. I'd say that was the heart of a mother crystal. Oh, good. Now it's going upstairs. <laughs> I knew that fallen thing was no much for you. Did you, though? Allow me to apologize for earlier. That was, uh... Stupid? Well played. Oh. All born of a misunderstanding, though. Can we start again? We don't need your apologies. We need answers. And you're going to give them to us. Right now. 
I uh, suppose you'll be wanting to know about the tower, then. As you've probably guessed, this isn't the first time we've been here. Fact is, my people have been coming to this place for centuries. Have they now? To these ruins in particular? Aye, well, they, uh, talked to us, told us what this lot was all for. And what is it for? Well, believe it or not, the Fallen were actually using this place to make their own, uh, Mother Crystal. Though, despite years of searching, all we ever found was shards. Then, Harpocrates was right. It would seem that the Fallen did indeed acquire the gods' ability to craft crystals. I wouldn't go that far. The shards aren't exactly divine. They're not even what you'd call decent. But they're better than nothing, and nothing is what our people had before we found them. Interesting. So we've been coming here ever since. But these dust crystals have only recently appeared on the black market. What made you decide to start selling them? The skies. Once they went dark, the crystals started growing back till there were more than you could count. And with the mothers all cracked, anyone with anything that could muster so much as a spark had people queuing up to take their coin. Yes, at a cost to us all. Quality apart, these crystals are no different from the ones the world has been using since the dawn of time. And it cannot continue. No, it cannot. While this is clearly none of Ultima's doing, there can be little doubt but that it serves his cause. Then our path is clear. So let's do what must be done. Agreed. Wait, you lot aren't thinking what I think you're thinking, are you? Oh, I think there's a good <laughs> chance we are. But, uh, what about... What about the tower's defences? That thing you just fought, it won't be the last one. And the further you climb, the worse they'll get. How about we head back to Martha's before someone gets hurt, eh? That is sound advice. Which I suggest For you. you take. Before someone gets hurt. Nah, they put too much time into this guy. They gave him a funny scarf. He needs to get in the way more. That weapon is stronger than the best weapon in the game. That's crazy. I'm in. Oh, we can't even see what it looks like because I had the buster sword on. Yeah, well. Moving on. To think the fallen built all this. The knowledge they must have needed. Knowledge now lost. What's crazy is I used all those potions and we can't fast travel out of here. Pretty sure. Oh, we can. But I'd have to come all the way. Oh. Well, we'll keep pressing on. I'm sure it'll be fine. Those crystals? Dude, I can't tell which way is like the right way or the, the wrong way. And there's no local map. Yeah, they usually do a pretty good job of keeping you fed. Oh, it looks like they both go to the same. It's, it's just a big old circle. Okay. If this is like every other fallen ruin... Then there'll be a lift. Oh, God. I completely forgot about that, Larry. <laughs> hey. Oh, right, elevator.
Nope. <laughs> nope, I just forgot. Makes sense that we can't go down there. It's a pretty good dog. It's a pretty good dog. Any idea what those are? They seem to be containers of some sort. Oh, or perhaps... Cages. Like some sort of twisted menagerie. But why here? And just let them be free. That looks like a chocobo. That's a goblin? And a minotaur? Hmm. Yeah. A little bit. A belt? I assume this is going to be better as well. Uh, better for armor, less good for health. I only lose two health, though. I don't really care about that. Another remnant of fallen ingenuity, unblemished by the passing of the centuries. This belt is crafted from an unknown material, which properties decidedly both ceramic and metallic, despite exhibiting the pliancy of treated leather. That it ever so subtly throbs in much the same manner as a living heart could, by some less adventuresome types, be considered cause for concern. What's the matter? You don't want your belt throbbing around your, uh, throbbing around your waist? Like a heartbeat? Hmm. How many of these things are there? True. You get one of those ab rippers. <laughs> Releasing subjects Alpha to Epsilon. Alpha to Epsilon. Uh oh. Get out of here, puppies. Got him. Eight thousand experience. Why Holy hell! Creatures here? And why not thaw out these ones? Were they not good enough to stop me? You saying I'm not strong enough? Stupid power. Selective defenses. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. They're just like frozen for centuries just to immediately get roasted the second they come out. That's their correct way. But we go this way. Stuff. Oh. This is not where we were. That device. It glows just like the doors. Development log entry 680925. A file? Mitogenic reactor trial successful. 23 
Units of Grade 3C Crystal produced. Moving forward, all seeds fabricated from inorganic material are to be replaced with lab-grown organic specimens. Organic specimens? So they were turning living creatures into crystals. Uh-oh. You know, it's hard to tell because, like, they've been saying that the Fallen created this, right? So unless the Fallen were working with Altio, which, like, we can't rule out yet, right? But I feel like the Fallen were trying to replicate what they saw, right? Versus, like, trying to necessarily work with them. I'm not sure. That's the correct way, obviously. I don't think you can go through this because it doesn't have a light up. Nothing. Then Thanks, we'll have to find another way. I bet it's gonna be through these goblins. <laughs> yeah, possibly. I mean, yeah, and I do too, right? Like, it's been four months since I played this game. Chess, chess. <laughs> a nourishment bit once willed from slumber this spherical construct of fallen provenance will fit, flit and flutter about its new master like a dutiful yet unseen hummingbird sweeping in to provide the aid should the need arise increase hp regain potential when taking damage while automatically restoring hp regain gauge cool Mm hmm I don't know that that's like super worth it versus the gloves the defense by 30 we could probably do to move on from but like I don't like lowering my defense by almost 10% we'll hold for now 
Wow. That's the correct way. I assume, again, this door is locked, but we'll check. Nothing. Let's go, bitch. Oh, you got a jetpack? That's fucking cheating. Of course they got more than one. Oh, it appears this incarnation can fly. Ah, double attack again. Yeah, no kidding. God, I forgot about that. Well, this one doesn't have a big health bar, so I think this is just going to be a regular enemy. But, uh, cool looking. Good lord. Difficult areas. It may just be that I'm like super rusty too, to be fair. But these fights have felt pretty tough. Sheesh. Bombardment bit. Increases will damage dealt during using most aerial attacks by 20%. Also increases maximum number of stomps from 2 to 3. Maximum number of stomps. So like the stomping on their head thing? Hmm. And that makes two. Yes. 
But of how many? Grand question. That depends on how determined they were to conceal their activities. There's another potion. Eek. One. That one's close too. Yeah. All right, up we go. That'd be a good time for a break. If the tower is in control, why not simply disable the lift? What are you suggesting, Joshua? That it's hurting us. Dope. There's an entire fleet. I wonder if any are still capable of flight. Mid will want to see this. Oh, man. That's wild. Is that in the thing at all? No? What are you gonna do? Bring mid up here? The hell? Another high potion? That's nice at least. Well, we're pretty high up. Wow, we can't go through this way yet. Yeah, it is. Good on them to actually give you an opportunity to look that way, too. There's some enemies. Attack? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We're not doing protect. Just, I just feel like bait. Come on! Fallen bracelets. Fallen bracelets. 15 centuries removed from their creation, these unassuming accessories are inexplicably warm to the touch, and when equipped, are compelled by un some unseen force to cinch tightly around the wearer's flesh like a mother gripping the arm of a misbehaved child. And upon their wrist would the people wear bangles of opal and onyx that they might foresee the shifting of the very heavens. Hmm. Other items, there should be a couple more ads up here. Nope, have to do it. Have to do it. Legally bound. Jesus Christ. They look like bone chips. Good thing these uh, spires open when we touch them. Can you imagine if they didn't respond to us? High potion and a potion. We're back to full potions now. Hmm. Interesting. It looks like we're trapped here, which is pretty dope, if I had to say so myself. And before we head up this way, I am going to take a little bit of a break, because I need to stretch really quick. The top of my back is like, whoop, not happy with me right now. So I'm going to stretch real fast, 
Uh, YouTube, you're not going to miss a beat. I'm going to pause the recording here. We're going to get right back to it. If you're not already following all the socials, check out the socials down below. Get yourself some water. Pause the video. Get yourself a break. Stretch it out. Appreciate you watching. We'll be back in a bit. Welcome back, YouTube. Let's hop back to it. Anomalous activity detected in Hangar Bay. Mobilizing features. Ah, oh, man. Show them what capable of. Not today. We can happy pull, basically, yeah. And for a second, I thought that that was, like, one of the ice things that um, Jill was shooting out, but then it was very clear that it wasn't. use a high potion there but having two of these at the same time is kind of a bummer should just do the uh, diamond dust try to get into their stagger hey, it's been about four months for me Harley it's been a long time it's nice to play the DLC though it's nice to get back into it these fights have actually been pretty challenging And we got two potions out of it. Not bad. Sheesh. This thing's just throwing enemies at us and shit. It's fucked up. How's the audio, by the way? Is it too loud? I did turn the volume up, so... I didn't think it would be, but I'm just making sure. I hadn't asked yet. It is the Buster Sword, yeah. Part of the DLC. Pretty cool. Seems good? Okay. Pretty good? Good. Good deal. Transferring oh. sentry prototype AM2 to Stasis Tano West. I'm ready. Fight me, nerd. Oh, that's an Iron Man. It's odd. I'll just have to hope those crystals in sporting are as worthless as the others. Unlikely. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Rude. I respect it. Nah, before it goes away. Nope. Sit still.
damn, Harley. Yeah, it looked pretty good. Obviously, we didn't see a ton of gameplay there, so I'm interested to see how it ends up turning out, but it looks pretty fun. Plus, anything that's done in, like, the Tenkaichi style, I'm just very interested in playing, you feel me? Like, I really want to play. I love those games. Right. That's... That was cool. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I've never played Final Fantasy IV. At least not the new one of Final Fantasy XIV. I would have no idea. I mean, it makes sense for them to reuse assets, though. The same, say, a side of the and DC characters. Yeah, I bet they probably will, because, I mean, people have been asking for this game for a while now, so, like, they'll they'll probably make it as fan servicey as they can. You know what I mean? Just to make people happy. Plus, like, Smash Ultimate's already created the formula, right, on how to, like, get people hyped about a game like that, so... Oh shit! I didn't realize that that was an enemy doing that. That's my bad. I thought that was Joshua doing that. Shit. It looks so similar. It was only purple instead of red. That sucks. But I gotta start all the way back from the beginning. That blows, dude. That's not cool. I did forget that you get your potions back after you die, so I guess we can be a little bit more uh, aggressive with our healing. All right, Brown still shot with little fucking lightning balls. Again? If that's a. Uh, I guess that's fine. I mean, if it's if it's like extra characters and stuff, like if they take stuff from like the anime or something, and they add some like side characters from movies and stuff, I guess like Cooler maybe. But like if one of the main characters or a different variation of them is in the DLC, it's weird for me. I don't know. Like I'm not I'm not against it necessarily, but like like when Dragon Ball Fighters was doing it, I was just like I don't want to spend money to play as Kid Goku. <laughs> like, I don't know. Yeah! 
I don't think I can do that to the lasers. That is ridiculous. We'll blow everything here. Oh, they just keep going. I don't think I'm going to get the Santastic gun off in time. Hopefully this just kills it. Nope. That did, though. Sheesh. More crafting materials. Connection. What do you mean? You can bring it back Imagine to life? An entire war fought with these things. The quantity of ether required. Oh, did I? That's fine. Would be unfathomable. No wonder they were trying to manufacture their own crystals. Unable to establish connection. Raising threat index. It seems we've made an impression. <laughs> Yeah, I imagine I can't go back for it, right? Yeah, it is what it is. Don't I don't, don't really think, care. Joshua. Forgive me, brother. They may not. <laughs> Moving on.
But everything's red now, so I assume that'll be, uh... I think it'll be fine. Never mind, they're all dead anyway. Yes, sir. What's up? Okay. A salmon bit. Once willed from slumber, the spherical construct, oh, it's the same thing, okay? Increases rate at which damage multiplier rises when enemies are staggered, as well as increases multiplier maximum to 200%. The battle technique double impact is earned upon attaining the multiplier maximum. That seems good. Yeah, all right. Let's try it. Makes us a bit um glass cannon y, but if we need to change it, we'll change it. Love the background music, it's dope. that jumps between enemies. I'm not sure why when it's killing them it's not like bouncing between them like they normally do. Maybe it's just the angle that I'm hitting it on. I, I haven't used that enough. they would have added something I, I'm I'll shut up I'll wait until the end <laughs> yeah I would have thought that these would be more like the uh, the chocobo enemies but they do seem more akin to dinosaurs Don't let me like made the joke about Resident Evil, but like <laughs> starting to look pretty similar. Goopy, gross mess. Boo. Well, that's a big bitch. Don't growl at me. I just walked in. Looks like Hashik. One over fifteen hundred years ago, yeah. 
stereos, huh? See if we can't max this new stagger meter out. upgrade against these things that have stagger bars. Farewell. Yeesh. Yeah, I think there was only like one other time we're getting hit by one attack like that hit me that hard, and I think it was when we were doing the uh, the Sprog fight. Revivement bit. Improves limit break induced enhancements while also increasing HP regen during limit break by 50%. Also, if fatal damage is taken while the limit grade gauge is full, a limit break is automatically triggered, preventing KO. That is super cool. That is super cool. So it turns your uh, limit break into a defensive tool. That's dope. I get the feeling that's going to be required at some point in this. I wish it wouldn't. Ah, there's another one of those devices. Why did it point this one out? It didn't point the last one out. Ah! 
Seeing Clive fight with the Buster Sword is actually pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie. That time it worked. So weird. It's pretty spooky, like, when you start looking at all this stuff and the way that they've got things, like, layered out like that stuff, like, it's gross. And it's alive, like, that looks like a griffin claw, right? Like, it's just like... Yeesh. The worm mounts. What was the other item we got? I missed that. Couldn't have been this. Just desert roses, then. That's the only thing that was listed. Nice. Okay. Moving on. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Hey, a big round arena. Oh, yeah, bitch. That was fucked up. Thank you. I think that just sells for kill. I did try to dodge that one, but I hit it a little too late. Oh, 
There we go. We're not gonna need the full blast for this one. This just goes back out the way we came, right? Double check and make sure. Yeah. This is just where we came from. Yeah, okay. Let's go, Torgo. Alrighty. Up we get, and down we go. Don't spawn any enemies, game. I gotta put the desk down. Well, this seems very uh, this seems very end of the air area, huh? Looks like we're at the well, we're not at the tippy top though. Maybe not. Let's save really quick just in case. We have not saved in a minute. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. I wonder if this is going to be an e free fight. The area doesn't look quite big enough. Unauthorized entry detected. Primary core firewalls activated. Initializing iconoclastic defense system Omega-1. What the hell is an iconoclastic defense system? Omega? I have a feeling we're about to find out. And that we will not like the answer. Hey, this was part of the trailer. <laughs> Ew. What it can just, it can just. Goodbye, Crystal. Complete. Authorizing environmental sterilization protocol. Well, at least we know where it is this time. Quite. And if we want it. <laughs> if we want it. All we have to do is kill an icon. Safety routines disabled. Yeah, no problem. Stand clear. Okay.
back it down to its stagger before it does this. Ah, uh, maybe. Just barely interrupted me there. Don't jump. Close. This is hype music. I'm not sad about it, but it would be kind of cool if it got its own thing. Phase two. Okay. Is it over? Please tell me it's over. It's not over. Come on. He's just charging his laser. Data assessment complete. Recalculating threat level. Weapon routines authorized. Rerouting core power to Omega One. Expect one singular hair. There we go. Not yet. And what makes you say that? <laughs> cool. <laughs> My goodness. How am I supposed to concentrate fighting with this? <laughs> I'm guessing I can't parry that. Call me crazy. They're 
recharge by the time I get this down into a stagger anyway. Man, Diamond Dust is so much damage. <laughs> well, you can? Oh, that's so much damage. And it doesn't care. Oh my god, it's got so much health. Jesus Christ! Are you kidding? Wow. That was ridiculous. Oh, man.
Jesus Christ. Snagger meter up as much as we can here. I think I pissed him off, maybe. <laughs> You're down a bit.
frequency of dimensional compression. I feel like it's cheating. <laughs> Doesn't have a stagger bar anymore. Right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> my goodness. Woo! Yeah, that's probably gonna be better for the YouTube folks. <laughs> the circle was like this big, Rose. I think, I, I think we were about to lose. <laughs> I think we were like seconds away from losing. It felt like we were seconds away from losing. That was wild, dude. My goodness gracious. <sighs> okay. Omega Noctule. <laughs> Phase three. <laughs> Omega Noodle. <laughs> Control unit. Offline. Initiating emergency core extraction. Well, would you care to do the honors, Clive? <laughs> Gladly. What? For what? <laughs> Absolutely not. What must you ruin us all? I, I cannot let you do that. We need these crystals. They're all we have. And just who is this we? 
We are of an ancient tribe, one of the first to lose its lands to the blight. For countless years, we were forced to roam the twins. A nation without a mother crystal, a people without a blessing. So we found our own. The dust crystals provide us a means to survive. Yes, but at what cost? Like all crystals, these shards channel ether. Ooh, Where do you think that ether comes shiny. from? It sucked. <laughs> from the land. Devil, thank you so much for the hundred bits. I appreciate it. Beast. Glad your credit card's working. That's clearly you blue. You just expect us to believe that? That's clearly blue. And look at all the pink uh, and that red. Make what we've told you any less true. If this heart is anything like the others, it will bleed the twins of their life force till naught remains, naught but death. Death. The proof is all around. What do you think robbed your people of their home in the first place? We are trying to stop that from happening again. And this is the only way. Fuck me. You're Sid. You just realized you that? What happened after the Empire lost Grey's head? <laughs> what do you suppose they will do when they find out, as they surely will, that there is another heart hidden right here under their noses? Mm -hmm. Your people's need will count for naught. Yeah, sorry, Leon. I mean, right? Oh, damn it. <laughs> it doesn't look like we have much of a choice. But you said you didn't believe him, Chief. I don't. But the man does have a point. There's no keeping this place a secret now. And hanging on to these crystals will only get our people killed. Have it your way then. Thank you. Just promise me you'll leave my people out of it. Absolutely. Stand back. It's about to get hot in here. <laughs> Consider that. What's holding the tower up now? The thing's gone. It did put in that work, yeah. <sighs> Goodbye, Crystal. I hope we did the right thing. I'm sure they'll be fine.
Fine. Look at that. So now what about all those airships? Can we talk about the airships? <laughs> Can we talk about the airships though? Maybe. Hey, they made it out. And now the door is closed. We all saw the crystals fade, but what of the cages? We barely even explored half of the chambers. Mm, without the heart to sustain them, I doubt those still slumbering in the tower will stir now, if ever. I Damn. hope you're right. The last thing the world needs is one of those six-legged pests running around wreaking havoc. <laughs> we have more than enough two-legged pests to deal with as it is. Fair. So How valid. blameless they may claim to be. What? Oh, two-legged. Right. Sorry. I was just wondering what I'm going to tell the village elders when we get back. I suppose I'll just beg them for forgiveness, and when that doesn't work, give them the slip and lie low for a year or two. Or you can come to the hideaway. to run away. Again. What? It's got us this far, hasn't it? <laughs> I mean, we may have had a bit of help, like... Kind of you to remember. Will you and your people be all right? Oh, we've made do without before. I reckon we'll survive. And if what you said is true, it's not like the rest of the realm's going to have it much easier. True. Besides, one man's ordeal is another man's opportunity, as the old saying goes. <laughs> I don't recall ever hearing that one, but... <laughs> Now, if you don't mind, we've got places to be. We do? I mean, we do. Uh, thanks for uh, everything. I said, we've got places to be. <laughs> Bye, Leon. Back to the hideaway then. Karen and Hippocrates will want to hear about this. Uh, I was thinking we might first return to the tower and see if we can... Back to the hideaway, then. <laughs> God damn it, now the door's closed again. Man, whatever. Back to the hideaway. I'm with you, Joshua. Lame. <laughs> A new crafting recipe is available, huh? What can we make, Blackthorn? What do I owe the honor? So, what it be? The Omega Weapon. A blasphemous coupling of living flesh. <laughs> And synthetic bone. This relic of an age long forgotten shudders with the self same vital spirit that animated the Sage Pyre's mightiest of sentinels. And when he looked upon mankind's creation, he saw himself. Not bad, if I do say so. The reward is with me. Obtain the Mega Weapon. Dope. There you go. And... We will, uh. Yep, Fleshy Sword. There you go. Let's take the, uh... Let's take the, uh, the weapon skin off. That's, pre that's pretty dope. <laughs> that's pretty cool looking. I kind of love that. That's really neat. I like that a lot. Yeah, that's really cool. Unsurprising, right? But yeah, that's really cool. With the purple handle instead of the purple hilt and stuff, that's deep. That's dope. Alright, Karen. Back, are ya? Yep. So? 
Did you find out where the dust crystals were coming from? Nope, oh, and they're all mysteriously gone. It's uh, <laughs> a long story. And perhaps one better told in the shelves. Fair. That way you don't have to tell it twice. Yeah, all the weapons were pretty good. There were only like, I think one or two that I wasn't like overly impressed by, but like the rest of them, like, I've been pretty happy with the weapon design in this game. Yeah, it looks cool. Bloody hell. <laughs> Remind me never to go poking round in any fallen ruins. Not only a mother crystal of human creation, but an icon as well. Yep. Truly, the study of our fallen forebears is endlessly rewarding. The wonders of which they were capable never cease to amaze. They came as something of a surprise to us, too. <laughs> we can say that again. We had no idea what we were getting ourselves into when we set foot in that tower. Hmm. We only knew the old stories. Of a people so consumed by greed that they sought to overthrow the gods. And I'd hazard the thing we found in that tower was conceived for that very purpose. Omega. The offspring of the Fallen's boundless knowledge and unchecked ambition. That fight was ridiculous. Dangerous combination for all concerned. And Ultima crushed them. It was he whose secrets the Fallen coveted, let's not forget. He whom they strove to dethrone. Just as we strive to dethrone him now. Without their knowledge. And without their weapons of war. Hmm. Clive. Now when you put it that way. This power I've been given may exceed even theirs. But if I use it as they did. Who's to say things won't end the same way? Come now, brother. I think the events of recent days have made it abundantly clear that we are not our ancestors. As well you know. You're right. They made crystals. We destroy them. In crafting their artificial hmm. art, the Fallen sought to emulate the Divine. But that is not the path we have chosen. No. We don't want to be gods. That's fair. We just want to be free. Well said. If one does not learn from the mistakes of the past, one is doomed to repeat them. And so, I mean to write down everything you've told me to the very last detail, that those who come after might learn from our travails, and perhaps just perhaps forge a brighter future for our descendants nice Woo! we did it that was fun oh it goes in the chambers gotcha Nope. And now we got a cool new sword. Repercussion. Silence the echoes. So I guess the question is, did I get a new, what? No. Dear Sid, oh, it's from Leon. I write you this note from Imperial Lands. Yes, I know we said we'd be going straight home, but a little detour to trade the trinkets we'd picked up on our travels for some trusty gills seemed in order. Give the elders something to soften the shock of losing the dust crystals like. Truth is, those crystals have long been a lifeline for our people. And though I may have been quick to comprehend your reasoning that, that they're not but a tether to a sinking ship, humble country folk like mine are ra rather less receptive to new ideas. Wish me luck in turning them to the righteous path. Famiel. He'll be fine. Wait, I'm missing something. I'm missing two things. Hmm. All right, so real quick. Uh, can I just go in? The oh, Jesus. 
Oh, I haven't yet. That's that's probably what it is then. Yeah, I didn't even consider that. Ooh, there's a couple of trophies that we haven't gotten yet. Oh, no. And I missed one of the bits. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, shit. That sucks. <laughs> Beat it on Final Fantasy mode? Come on. <sighs> Can you imagine? Yeah, and I may have missed that one too, but once I go through a second time, I'll look all that stuff up and make sure that I didn't miss any or I didn't miss anything myself. I still haven't finished all the chronoliths yet. But yeah, I think that's gonna be it for tonight. I think that's uh I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else we can necessarily do right now. I don't unless it lets us redo it again, which I doubt. Yeah, no, it doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. So we would have to like redo the entire game all over again to be able to go back there and get the last bit nope nope thank you <laughs> nope you got something new for us karen what do you got oh my star it better all be a oh and the iconoclasm you'll not find a better price than that Finished, are ya? Is that my star one, the DMCA song? Maybe we shouldn't play that. <laughs> This is from when we were, like, moving around, okay? <laughs> Fitting way to end it. YouTube, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you haven't already, make sure you like the video, comment, and subscribe for more Final Fantasy 16 content. We're going to be doing the other DLC as well. Obviously, it doesn't come out until spring, but we will be coming back to this game again, so I hope you guys will be excited for that. We are going to be going through a the rest of our Final Fantasy marathon as well over on Twitch. We are taking a little bit of a break in December. We've got a lot of fun content planned, but then back in January, we're going to be doing Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy VII Remake, and then Final Fantasy VII Rebirth when it releases at the end of February. Appreciate y'all watching. As always, we'll see you again in the next one. Have a great day, YouTube. Bye!